YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka is that your hair, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to $20 Tuesdays, is that your hair holiday edition? As some of you know, $20 Tuesdays is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute yet super affordable wigs. Today is special because I'm collabing with one of my good friends, Mika, aka Wigs to Waistline. Now, let me tell you about Mika. I have been rocking with Mika pretty much probably since her channel started, like back in, I think I first found her in 2016 or so. And I was just really happy to find her channel because she was a fellow dark-skinned woman wearing wigs of all types and all colors. I especially love when she would rock like burgundy colors like this and blonde colors. So seeing her definitely um, inspired me to continue my wig journey and eventually start my YouTube channel. So Mika, thank you so much for collabing with me for my holiday series. If you're not familiar with her, get to know your girl because she be slaying. And she just got no camera, what? Your girl's looking crisp, okay? So yeah, I, I really love Mika's channel and I love her content and I love how informative she is. I'm sure you all will love her too. So please check out her information in the description box down below. So today I have a unit from Sensational and it is called Boutique Kinky Straight right here. And you see I have her in the 1B99J burgundy color. So just a few specs on the unit. It does come with two combs in the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. This is a three-way three part unit. Those type of units came out a few years ago where you are able to shift the wig in various positions without, you know, it being uneven at the ends. This was kind of before the whole frontal situation that started on synthetic wigs, I would say within the last year or so. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. All right, so let's dive into the pros of this unit. First pro is the coloring, hands down. I'm so glad that I got this 99J Burgundy mix. I don't know if you can tell, but I just love how the dimensions of this color came out. It looks really good. This holiday season, I've been kind of staying away from burgundy, not because I don't like it, but because I kind of just got tired of having a dark root and then a burgundy or a harsh red. like. I just wanted there to be more play with the colors. So with this unit, I like that there are two colors mixed in and it's very well mixed in. So I appreciate that from Sensational on this unit. Another pro to this unit is the overall length and density. Most of you know that I do prefer lighter density. So for me, this falls on me about a good 20 inches. It's like right past my breast area. And this is literally all the hair to the front. And when I have a straight unit like this, this it's just perfect for me. Some of you might prefer a, a thicker density, so this may not be the best unit for you, but I like it. Another pro to this unit is the way they did the dark rooting. Again, like fabulous job. Look at how this blends so seamlessly into the red. I don't really like when it's like too harsh of a dark root, like 1B blonde one b red you know what i mean not when you can do something like this this looks a lot more like a professional color job now as far as the cons to this unit i have one big con the advertising so this is advertised on the stock card as boutique kinky straight yes however when i feel this hair my friends this is not kinky straight this is at best light yakky i did straighten this just a tad with a flat iron because I wanted to get rid of some of the bumped ends down here, but it really didn't change the texture. It's still like a light yakky to silky texture. So I don't understand why they call this kinky straight. Y'all wanna see what a kinky straight looks like? Hold on. This is my Nisha 203 unit in the cinnamon spice color. This right here, look at the texture. You see the difference? I hope y'all can see this because this is kinky straight. No, this is not. So, I don't know, maybe this is just something Sensational was doing a few years ago and they were like, yeah, let's just call that kinky straight for like marketing purposes. But this ain't it. <laughs> 
And if you know me, I absolutely love a yakier texture. So for me to have something that is advertised as such and it's not, it was definitely disappointing. Another conscious unit would probably be the cap size. I feel like in general, when it, when it comes to the sensational empress, empress, empress line, their caps are smaller for some reason. I don't know. I have a medium sized head and that works well for me. However, if you have a larger size head, like 22 and a half, 23 inches, this cap size will probably not work for you. But getting back to one of the pros, the major pro of this, and for every $20 Tuesday is the price. I mean, $18.80 for this unit. For this bomb coloring job, I mean, you can't beat that. I know I don't really care to get bundles and dye them three different colors to get this type of color. I don't wanna do that. That's one thing I really like about synthetic wigs where it gives you that flexibility, that versatility, to kind of pick and choose what you want without the hassle of using your time. It's a time saver. And you know, you're slaying on a budget. I mean, what more could you want? So I would recommend this unit for the colors for sure. If you just want a plain 1B number two natural color unit, I wouldn't get this unit. I would recommend something else. And I have quite a few of the units that are straight and natural colored. One unit I really like that is within a $20 budget is the Outre Volume Pressed. That unit was $18 at the time, but it varies. Sometimes you can catch it on sale for less than less than $15. That unit, I love the layers. Um, it looks so natural. I love the density. That is the perfect dark haired unit. Like, and it's synthetic and it's affordable. I mean, I absolutely love that unit. One of my favorite units period when it comes to synthetic wigs because it's such an easy, simple slay. And I feel like if you like straight hair, then everyone should have a wig like that in their collection. But however, if you want a little bit of color and dimension, definitely cop this wig right here because this looks cute. Also, if you really, really like light yucky textures or silky textures, then you will like this wig. Just know that wigs like this that are synthetic are more prone to tangling, which I have been receiving. I've definitely been getting some tangling right here. And um, that's why I got my comb right here. <laughs> And I've been just, you know, combing it out and then I've been pretty much good to go. So please drop some comments down below. You know I love when y'all talk to me. Let me know what you feel about this unit. If you are new to my channel, please say hi to me because I'm friendly. I love to make new friends on the YT. So say what's up and let me know your thoughts about this color and this hair and everything that I mentioned in the video. Make sure you check out Wigs to Waist Length. She's awesome and I'm sure if you haven't heard of her, you'll definitely know her now. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for tuning in to $20 Tuesday. We are almost at 7K, baby. <laughs> the road to 10K is real, I swear. Thank you so much for supporting me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Ring, 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 ring,